I think it's uh, become fairly clear that because Mr. Harper uh, put all his eggs in the same basket, uh, counting on uh, uh, oil prices remaining high, uh, he is now uh, reacting and flailing and, and indeed making it up as he goes along. Really? Now, the Liberal Party is holding its annual caucus meeting. I bet that'll be such great fun. But I suppose it matters to a degree. I mean, Justin Trudeau is slipping a little in the polls. Victory is far from assured. And um, what actually are the Liberal Party policies, speaking of making it up as you go along? Jessica Hume is there, isn't she lucky? She joins us from London, Ontario. So, I mean, what, what are you hearing? What, what's the atmosphere? Are people very optimistic? Well, you know, this is uh, this is basically literally Justin Trudeau preaching to the converted. So this is a, a very rah rah event, uh, as you can see, many people behind me gathering, waiting to hear uh, the marquee event today, which of course is Justin Trudeau making something of a stump speech to his party faithful. So uh, I'm at the Ukrainian Community Center. This is where it's all happening. But uh, of course, the focus of much of the discussion is uh, far beyond these walls, uh, far even beyond just London, Ontario, uh, more broadly to southern Ontario. So uh, there's lots going on here. The mood, I would say, Michael, it's very optimistic. It's very exciting. Uh, but then again, everyone here is on the same team. Well, yeah, they are and they're not. I mean, the Liberal caucus is not that large at this point, And I can think of at least a dozen members of it who are not huge fans of Justin Trudeau. They, they think he's been too dictatorial. Uh, they don't like the fact that some of their friends who they thought would be candidates have not been allowed to be. They disagree with some of his uh, social policy views. So, I mean, I, I know they're not going to come forward and volunteer that information, but there is some dissent. Uh, well, yeah, for sure. I mean, this is uh, this is a political party that's made up of, of humans, and this is a bunch of individuals. And of course, you're not going to see uh, everybody on the same page. But uh, I think there is very much uh, a very strong sense among the Liberal Party within the Liberal Party that they need to act in unison, that they need to present a united front uh, in the interest of bringing uh, voters back under the tent. This is a uh, this is you know it, they they were decimated uh, literally last time around in 2011. So uh, here in Southern Ontario, as you'll remember, uh, Michael, this was a this was a, a liberal stronghold until the next uh, the last sorry federal election. So uh, it is entirely an uphill battle for Justin Trudeau and his party to try to regain uh, what was lost last time around. Mm. Well, obviously, one of the major issues uh, is terrorism and internationally, but in Canada, and it's always going to, to play into the hands of the leader of the country, the prime minister, whatever their party, because they have the ability to, to seem to be assured and strong. But the problem here for the Liberals is that their leader seems to be particularly weak around these issues. He, he was asked about jihadism and terrorism and, and his response. Well, let's, let's take a look at it, please. I think uh, it's obvious that uh, this uh, uh, this extremist terrorism is a real threat to uh, to the region and to global security. How do you convince Canadians that you are a better alternative when we don't specifically know what your plan and your platforms? Well, I think I've been very clear on on one particular piece of it. Um, well, he hasn't been really particularly clear on much of it at all. Uh, but when it, when it comes to this issue of terrorism, which shouldn't be party political, really. Why do you think it is that he's so reluctant to, to, to stake his claim and to, and to say the Liberal Party is dedicated to Western values and freedoms? I mean, I think it's because there is an Islamic vote out there, and also he's trying to make himself as different from Stephen Harper as he can. That's right. Uh, but in addition to differentiating himself from Stephen Harper, he's also got to differentiate himself from the NDP. Uh, you and I both know that the NDP has been fairly consistent. They've taken a, a more pacifist approach when it comes to uh, the coalition uh, efforts against ISIS. But um, I was speaking with a professor of political science at University of Toronto earlier today, and she was saying that, uh, you know, Trudeau in a way is in a bit of a tough spot because he's got to play to the center. But depending on the issue, he wants to play to the center right he wants to play to the center left and with something like uh, Canada's involvement in this coalition fight against ISIS uh, well you know this is uh, this is an area where Trudeau is really gonna have to carve out a niche for himself so yes this morning he did kind of seem to signal uh, potentially looming change in the liberal position here so uh, you'll recall the party was against Canada's involvement but um, after the news yesterday that Canadian uh, forces were having to uh, return fire uh, 
Justin Trudeau said this morning that he believes, of course, Canadian forces have uh, every right to defend themselves. You know, the issue, of course, is uh, for him is is that Trudeau, uh, sorry, that uh, Stephen Harper, uh, in his words, has been less than honest with Canadians. But um, many of us are wondering: Does this, uh, you know, slightly different tack in in his talking point, does this indicate more support uh, for combat against ISIS in the future? That, of course, though, Michael, at least for now, uh, remains to be seen. Yeah. This is what I, I, I find baffling because Stephen Harper, you may not agree with him, but I think he has been quite obvious about this. There'll be some Canadian involvement, including ground troops and, and some aircraft. And Justin Trudeau says no, then he says, well, maybe, then he says yes. If, if anyone, and I'm, I'm not being partisan, but if anyone has been inconsistent and difficult to, to, to understand on this, it surely has been not Mulcair and not Harper, but Trudeau. Yeah, I think you're right. And I think at the same time, uh, another, uh, you know, contributing factor in, in this being kind of an, a disadvantageous uh, topic for Trudeau is the fact that, uh, I don't know if it's his party or his advisors, but uh, someone at the Liberal Party, it, it seems like they're not putting him out very readily. He's not uh, been as outspoken as Stephen Harper, yeah. but even as Mulcair. Uh, I mean, in reacting to the Paris attacks, uh, we heard very swiftly, quite strong yeah. words from Stephen Harper. Uh, Mulcair went so far as to call a, a press conference letting all of us media right. know that Jessica uh, you know, got to interrupt you because we're out of time but it, it, very uh, interesting Trudeau. that they, they, are, they are certainly keeping him under wraps and I think that probably is quite a good idea when it comes to this issue thank you very much indeed <laughs>